Hello, my name is Roger Hendricks, and I serve as the senior minister of Southwest Church in Springboro, Ohio. Southwest is a church that's committed to following Jesus, making disciples. We believe that a disciple is someone who is following Jesus, is being changed by Jesus, and is committed to the mission of Jesus. At Southwest, we also use a tool called the discipleship process that outlines five stages of spiritual growth. This tool isn't used to judge anyone or put anyone in a box. It's simply a tool to help individuals identify where they're at on that journey. And it also is helpful for those who want to come alongside people on that journey and help them take that next step. The first stage of the discipleship process is, is what we describe as being spiritually dead. This is a person who's not yet come to faith in Jesus. They've not yet crossed that line of faith. We talked about that in a previous video. But in this video, we want to talk about the person who has started their journey as a Jesus follower. But early on in that journey, they're really an infant in their growth. In fact, the Bible uses that kind of terminology. The Apostle Peter, who wrote a couple letters, one of them, the first one called 1 Peter, he talks about how that someone young in their faith is craving pure, pure spiritual milk, that like a spiritual infant. This is someone that, that maybe uh, in their workplace or in their field of academics, they, they might be extremely bright and educated. But when it comes to the spiritual arena, they're just beginning. There's a lot they don't yet know. And so therefore, we want to make sure that we share truth with someone that's a spiritual infant so they can discern that which the Bible says is right, that they can discern the, the importance of developing spiritual habits in their life so that they can grow, that they can understand the importance of being connected with other believers and so that they can continue to grow in that discipleship journey. For those that want to help someone who's a spiritual infant, it might be just sharing truth. It might be sharing with them how they can pray or how they can begin to, to develop a personal devotional life, reading the Bible on their own, or how they can get connected with other believers of Jesus. This is important as we help each other in the discipleship process. The next video we're going to talk about, once you grow beyond being a spiritual infant, how you can grow and be stronger as a spiritual child. We hope you'll watch that video as well.